Hey, many fish. Still the 1st of December, 2017. And, uh, of course, I have to check Drudge, right? And I find this article right here. And it's the world's longest lasting rainbow. A stunning spectrum of lights appears in Taiwan for nine hours continuously. As experts claim, it has broken the record, which, which appeared 23 years ago. Okay, lasted seven to four. We can go through these little times and everything, but rainbow appeared in the sky above Taipei for nine hours continuously yesterday, claimed a meteorology expert. World's longest lasting rainbow. The expert who is a professor at the atmospheric science said the previous record was six hours in the UK. Okay, there's some nice pictures. It's actually something that hasn't been captured by men apparently spectacular natural phenomena observed by professor this guy who works at the department of atmospheric science of chinese cultural university in taipei city professor chow told mail online this was a gift from the sky i was shaking when i observed a six hour rainbow but this was a miracle to me being able to capture a rainbow with such long duration Professor Chow first recorded a rainbow which appeared in the sky for over six hours on November 27th, just three days ago. Three days later, he and a colleague observed the record-breaking nine-hour rainbow near the university. And we can go through the times and stuff, and it is a pretty wild phenomenon here. And of course, the first thing I think of is Noah, right? So I go to Genesis 9, and I'm reading, and of course, you know, that the, the covenant with Noah uh, pretty much begins at Genesis 9-9, nine, nine, okay? So we're looking at this article, it just made me think of it, I don't know why, but it happens to be, if we're looking at the Jewish calendar, like I have been, that's just what I've been doing, still the ninth month and it's the 13th today friday the 13th okay so it's in genesis 9 13 i do set my bow in the cloud and it shall be for a token of covenant between me and the earth which i just thought was kind of interesting so i just kind of leave it at that but then it dawns on me that what they're talking about here is they saw a six hour rainbow okay three days ago so they saw it for six hours then three days pass by and then they see it for nine hours and that made me think of jesus at the cross i know it sounds weird but think about it it was it was about the sixth hour that there was darkness over all the land unto the ninth hour so you had six the sixth hour three hours of darkness and to the ninth hour, six, three, nine. This is just what popped into my mind. And I'm just, I just like to put it out there because, you know, it'll get just like all piled up with all the other sticky notes I got everywhere. And this is pretty cool, I thought. And I know there's a connection there that's telling us something. I, it all does, especially when we, when we get it gift wrapped like this. To me, this is, I, this is what it's all about, you know? And so, what am I getting at? I don't know, man. It's weird because if you keep going through the covenant with Noah, you know, 914, 915, it goes, the, the covenant goes all the way up to what, like uh, 919. So, I don't really see much of a connection there. But nonetheless, I really thought that was uh, pretty weird. This has never happened before to, to our knowledge in the uh, history of humankind that it's been witnessed of course i'll link all this stuff but uh yeah i thought that was really cool and worth uh sharing with you guys so there you have it you know peace and grace to you many fish finally my brethren be strong in the lord and in the power of his might put on the whole armor of god that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, 
against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 